morning. Good morning. I mean, really morning. It's uh, just five, past five. Five fifteen now. Yeah. yeah. Dawn has not officially dawned. Well, no, yeah. it has, hasn't it? It was five o two. Well, this? you know, five o two. The sun came up over somewhere, but Peterborough it didn't. Not yet. It's over there. It's I think. Quite a pleasant morning, though. Um, yeah. Well, for 5 a.m. <laughs> for 5 a.m. <laughs> Alarms went off at 4. Yeah. Were you up before then? 3.56. <laughs> when I got up. Um, yeah. So we're on our way to Dog in a Doublet. Um, we have the one lock between us and it, Horton Lock. Mm -hmm. And, um, we wouldn't normally be getting up this early, except for basically we decided not to take a run down to Dog and Adobe yesterday. Instead, I walked into Peterborough and had an eye test and... Um, I wanted a whole day off cruising. Yeah. Because <laughs> we've done two days in a row, which is not a lot, but I just wanted the whole day. it's two days in a row. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So... Uh, and I also quite fancied a dawn cruise. Yeah, so she's getting the dawn cruise. Um, sadly, the first, like, two-thirds of this dawn cruise is basically just puttering past a boat club. Um, yeah, to true. get to the lock and then once we get to the lock it's kind of crank it to Peterborough and then slow down through Peterborough and then crank it uh, to Dog and Dublin. This should be quite a nice cruise. It's about two hours, two and a quarter hours, two and a half hours. Mm. I think you said two and a quarter yesterday. Yeah. And, um, One way or another we got to be there for eight. By the way there's a bridge coming. You mean we've passed the bridge? Well, yeah, just, we didn't warn anybody on the video. Um, Why did they need Well, because all of a sudden there's just a bridge over our heads. <laughs> but yeah, um, arranged with Daryl, our uh, erstwhile pilot, to probably cross from Wisbeach to Boston on tomorrow. Saturday, tomorrow. I'm actually getting nervous now, I was thinking about it last mm -hmm. night. Well, he's got two boats coming over to Boston, no, or no, from, Denver today, From Boston. From today. Boston. And um, he's taking two boats over today. And his plan was to take us back. But because we're coming through on the morning tide into Whiz Beach, we're arriving too late. So he's going to have to take us tomorrow. But the weather, though so far it's lovely today, um, the weather is kind of, was, as of yesterday, kind of uh, borderline for tomorrow. So there's a possibility that um, we may instead have to punt until Wednesday. Now the only issue with that is the moorings in West Beach, where we'll be waiting, 36 pounds a night. Yeah, for so. a narrow boat. Um, yeah, there's kind of a... Oh, there's flies. Uh, there's a price per meter, which isn't cheap. Yeah, but it does cover the Whiz Beach Port Authority fee and all sorts of stuff. Yeah. Um, so for one or two nights it's okay, but for five nights it's a bit much. Yeah. So we're, there is a mooring halfway between Dog and the Doublet and Whiz Beach, so if we end up waiting flies, if we end up waiting five nights, we might go back to that. Yeah. But we'll have to just wait. Yeah, and see. Sounds like an interesting place because Joe mentioned it yesterday, and then I went to Google it, and then found out that. Um, it's well, it's kind of most famous for a uh, church called the Chapel of Ease that was built during the Interregnum um, after Oliver Cromwell uh, and co. chopped off the head of Charles I, which, oddly enough, Joe and I have been listening to as a podcast uh, the last few days. It's not a very interesting church, you know, kind of aesthetically. <laughs> um, because the Puritans were not the most uh, uh, aesthetic aesthetic of people, um, but uh, yeah, it's it's there. So if we do go back to Guy Hearn, I might have to visit that. And uh, and also apparently, um, at some point, three or four and sources conflict Irish reapers um, were were gibbeted for murder. Uh, right near the river, possibly right where we'll be mooring, if we moor them. Which is a little bit disturbing, because there might be the ghosts of four Irish reapers. There might be, except you don't believe in ghosts. So no, don't. I'm absolutely certain there won't be, <laughs> but um, nevertheless. So we're just joining the main line of the river now. 
funnily enough, there's no other boats around it for like 20 a.m. Yeah, it's a bit early for boats. It's a bit early for us. I'm not even awake yet. Well, I'm, I'm planning a little nap. <laughs> I'm already heavy one. Should I turn that off now? Yeah, I'm just waffling at this point. Or way. do you want to talk, record a talking at the tiller? Uh, well, that is what I'm doing, is talking at the tiller. Well, I mean, not really. Talking at the tiller would look more like this. John, what do you think? <laughs> I thought to look called John. Yeah, well, I, don't, I just... Apparently this is John the Tiller. John the Tiller pin dog. The reason I said that is because we've got our second channel that we've had for a few years that we used to upload all our time-lapse videos to. And there's still a few time-lapse videos to go up. But um, also using it as a bit of a experimental space where I worry less about what I put up. Like I do still care about what I put up, but I'm not putting up like the normal vlogs. Um, I'm putting up things that I'm... She's putting up the abnormal vlogs. <laughs> like I'm just having a bit more experimental fun with the editing, or well, that's my plan for it anyway. So I'm putting up things that we don't, that don't make the main video. And I'm putting up lots of real time videos because um, we got a new camera that is much better at doing those and I put up a kimchi recipe and I put up yeah the talking at the tiller episode <laughs> that, that was us mainly Michael chatting on <laughs> apparently I just chat and ramble <laughs> that I didn't want to put in the main vlog because the main vlog was already 40 minutes so but it was it was stuff that I wanted to share. So. You know, it's mornings like this that I think we should take that GoPro and put it on 4K or 5K. And it is beautiful. Yeah, we got like, Mist. well, I mean, you'll be able to see it on the GoPro, assuming that that got started this morning. It did. Uh, I am a fan of these Dawn Cruises. I like Dawn Cruises. I just wish I felt awake during them. Resembling the track of an aircraft flying at only 150 in the inlet, the right hand side, and that likely made it much harder. It wouldn't have been obvious at a glance why the visual soon becomes 
side, the captain to make some comments about how the miles away could be more level at 11,000 feet. Still, even after this unintelligible statement and comments from the first officer's sub point, so let's go over what that actually meant. Well, we're nearby. But in this case, the contract, if I hear those words, my internal transmission, which meant that, as far as they were concerned, until the words cleared the which gestures, tone of voice, and so on. But when you have a the controller had already moved into base by point six zero eight on the two right Roger. The aircraft now entered the waiting time. Shortly after this, they also came to the end of their timing for the outbound leg and therefore started turning left back towards the Noir. But So we've had quite a pleasant little trip to dog in a doublet. I well, think. if by pleasant you mean staring into the sun. <laughs> Come on, it's been beautiful. It's beautiful, it's just like I can't see. <laughs> There's been a whole bunch of squinting going, what is that? It's a bridge. Okay, where's the hole on the bridge? There, that's the one I'm oh, going Oh, I for. thought this was dock in a doublet. It's not, is it? No, no, I think we've got a ways, not a not a very long ways, but we've still no. got a ways to go for dock and a doublet. But I remember there were some moorings at this bridge. Well, moorings. There's some moored boats in this bridge. I uh, know, I think they are official. Like, I oh. think it's private land. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> we've taken to watching YouTube videos and... And or podcasts. <laughs> ...on these cruises. Yeah, we have this, um, Bluetooth speaker from Marshall that has turned into a way of entertaining me on the back of the boat. Um, well, I mean, part of the entertainment is the 20 minutes of trying to figure out which device is connected to the damn thing before we <laughs> actually get all of the other devices connected and then the right device connected, and then we can start playing the video and or podcast. Hence why we've been... Today's video was about uh, uh, air crash. Oh, now I can see dog in a doublet. There's dog in a doublet. <laughs> just the silhouette of the um, guillotine guy. So we just watched the, um, the video of the last time we've done that trip. Yeah, where I made the wonderful world, the wonderful wizard of Wizbeach joke. <laughs> made you laugh? No, you reminded me of what a putz I am. <laughs> um, but yeah, now I'm nervous. And I'm a putz. So we have been moored at Dog in the Doublet for about half an hour. Um, we're just waiting on the lock. There's another boat going through with us. Um, they have started to raise it, but there's a red light up there. So we've just got to wait till we get the green light, really. And then we can go. Why am I so nervous? I have no idea. <laughs> we are going on to a tidal river, however, it is basically a tidal ditch, so it's like eight miles almost completely straight. Yeah, They've big stopped. muddy banks on the sides. They've stopped. It's, it, it's not a big deal. I don't know why you're nervous. There's nothing to be nervous about. We're fine. Saw its head, and I was like, "Pretty sure that's a seal." They just spotted a seal up there. 
and it's just gone down. It's swimming towards us. Where? But yeah, it just went from river to... There it is. There it is. I saw him in the lock, so he's probably spent the night in the lock or he's been in there. Oh, I hope he hasn't been in the lock all night. Probably has, is not he? Could have been in there for days. Could have been. Michael's gonna get it. Well. You know when we were uh, stalking a doublet? Stalking a doublet? <laughs> Dog in a doublet. Yes. We were really, really close to Whittlesea. Yes. Guess where we're really close to now? March? Yes. <laughs> we left there on Monday. We're getting closer to where we've been. <laughs> too far outside with beach now and um, the sun's fully up well not quite fully up um, and it's just been quite glorious with lots of wildlife but as our, we remembered last time you're kind of in this ditch so you can't really see anything beyond the green banks so and, there, and, and unlike the last time there was no stampede of cattle no that's disappointing yeah. We saw some seals this morning though. Yeah, that was really exciting. But you can see how the mud bank is getting exposed now because yeah. the, the river is receding. Um, and, and yeah, not far away. Um, the boat that has been in front of us is still in front of us, but there's quite a bit of room, so he'll be able to make a turn without us ramming into him. And uh, yeah. I just got bit by a fly. I said there was lots of wildlife. Yeah, some some small, possibly blood-sucking insects. I was sat on the floor earlier, um, trying to get the knots out of George's ears because he's he's not very tolerant in his old age, and he only lets me do it when the boat's moving. Um, and I looked down, and there was a spider this big on my arm. Not in fear. Didn't hear me scream though, did you? No. You're doing better with spiders after living like, with 20 a million. A bit.
so we've made the turn um, I didn't enjoy it but it was fine and now we're just going back to the visitor mooring um, helpfully they've told us that it's H1 and H2 whereas last time we came here we were just told the visitor mooring and we couldn't see a sign but the H1 and H2 is clearly marked so we know exactly where we're going this time and because we're now uh, pushing against the flow of the tide going out it's really slow um, which is good because then it's like a really controlled approach to the mooring is not going to overshoot it. There, on top of there it says H2 and on top of that one it says H1. So we're moored on the pontoon. Uh, yeah, it says H1 on the top of that one, you probably can't see it. H2 on the top of that one. And um, yeah, the tide is really going out, you can see it as it um, flows around the, the pontoon there. Um, but yeah, hopefully a wash tomorrow. But <laughs> waiting to find out. Yes, I think, I think this before. Oh yeah, there's the exit. And then there harbors that building. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I remember. <laughs> we were here once before. Three years ago, I think it was. Yeah, we arrived in West Beach. Uh, I was a different shape. But this place was the same, roughly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just the water going up. Yeah. The tide is moving fast. She says the tide is moving fast. She ain't seen the tide yet. <laughs> <laughs> it was quite an enjoyable little trip down, although I was a little bit anxious. I don't know why. Uh, Come out of practice. Don't yeah. know what I'm going to be like on the wash now. Wait till we get to the Severn. <laughs> We're not uh, talking about the seven. We're not talking about the seven. We're going across the wash, but we're not talking about the seven. Well, no, because the seven's got like big tidal bores, whereas the wash is just like this big open expanse. Oh, yeah. Yes, and things we will not be doing is heading down the Severn from Gloucester towards Bristol, pointing at the Severn bore. Good. We will make sure that, you know, that that is the whole point. We will be going on the other time. <laughs> the, the bore will be behind us. Anyway. So, yeah, so maybe one night here, maybe going to the wash tomorrow. If that's the case and that is the end of this video um, if we're not going to the wash tomorrow we'll probably go back to the mooring that we passed up there yeah you'll you'll start seeing some more video in a second of us puttering <laughs> up towards Guyhorn. Guyhorn? Guyhorn. because it's 36 pounds a night here which for one night's okay which for five nights it's quite a lot of money especially when we've got to pay Daryl yeah. <laughs> yeah so so yeah, we've just got to go and register at the harbour building up there. Or when I say we, I'll probably say Michael. Oh, I'll, I'll go. And I think there's like a fob and uh, there's a few things to it. It took a while to get registered last time. Yeah. Um, and I can't remember. There is an electrical hookup here. There is water, which we can top up with. Um, but we did top up with only a few days ago. So I think we'll we'll, we'll still top up, but we don't need well, to Oh yeah, just see if we go down to Glyhern then... Yeah. And then if we stay in Boston for a few days, it's yeah. just... Well, if we're, if we're moving from here, I'm going to have to get groceries and everything as well. Yeah. But if there's a tap on the mooring, it just makes sense to do it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and if there's electricity on the mooring and it's included, it makes sense to, to warm up some toast or something. We don't actually have anything other than the washing, washing machine. machine yeah. So unless we wanted to run the wash, everything else can be powered by the solar. We've hardly got any washing clothes, but we could do what we've got, I suppose. Yeah. Anyway, you don't, you don't care about this. <laughs> That's more waffling. Um, Pancaking on as I do. Michael is probably going to go for a walk because uh, he enjoys, well, he finds walking useful and he likes to know what's about. Is that accurate? Yeah, fundamentally what's happened since losing the weight um, is, is that I have... Uh, I have to go a large period of time without eating a lot, um, which is fine, but uh, it's like basically I've just got extra nerves, extra nervousness, extra energy that uh, I need to burn off, and I find it useful to be able to climb stairs, really, but there are only a small number of stairs. There's a ladder there. That's true, I can go over there. <laughs> um, I, on the other hand, will be, well, I'm actually going to tidy the boat. Also, can you ask the harbour people when the high tide is here and when low tide is here? Because I'd, uh, like, I'd like to set up a time lapse. Sure. I'll do, I'll do it. Right. So, if that's the end of the video, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the wash. And if that's not the end of the video, see you tomorrow. Yes. And also, goodbye in some other language I need to look up at some point. Okay. Storkus. No, that's...
that's poop and flatten. <laughs> yeah, never mind that one. <laughs> <laughs>